Hello everyone, Paul Stetchik with Northeast Power Systems. We are continuing our evaluation of the ABB VD4CS. It's a transient-free breaker, a transient-free switch for switching uh, capacitor banks. This is a 20 megavar capacitor bank. We're doing an evaluation of the closing times. We want to show you how the technology works. So I'm gonna first talk to you about the setup. Okay, so what we have is a three-phase capacitor bank here. It's 20 megavars. We have a voltage sensor on phase A. This is part of the ABB switching device. And we got the VD4CS, the three-phase device. We're referencing the phase A, B, and C voltages here. Um, the way this operates is Pete will initiate a closed signal. We have voltage sensors on the load side of the VD4CS located here and also on the neutral. So we're recording the waveforms with a transient recorder. We're injecting voltages with a three-phase um, voltage source on the line side of the VD4CS. So the way it works is that when we send a closed signal, 200 milliseconds later, we'll see that the phase B and phase C contacts close. We're gonna see that on the transient recorder. And then 90 degrees later, we're gonna see phase A close. So this is interesting to watch. And it's very consistent, the closing time from the initiation of the trigger or the closed signal to the time that it actually closes is 200 milliseconds, so very consistent operation. One thing about this switching technology you have to uh, remember is that it does require phase A, B, C rotation. The capacitors must be in an ungrounded configuration as we have shown here, and the voltage sensor must be on phase A. And this is how we have it set up. So uh, Matt will go in and look at the, the transient recorder while Pete gets prepared to energize the system. So here we go. So on. we're going to turn the transient recorder on. Yeah, ready? Fire on. Boom, you see it. Okay, so you're looking at the voltage signals. You can see here that we have the blue and the magenta phase has closed. Blue and magenta is phase B, phase C. It closed when the B and C values were equal. In other words, zero voltage closing. B and C are both closing at the same time. Thus, transient free between phases B and C. Then 90 degrees later, we have phase A closing. Yellow is closing here. So you can see that operate. The green is a neutral. And you can see that the neutral tracks along zero because we're monitoring the neutral voltage during the closing operation. So the phase uh, A, when it has come into, into uh, when it was switched in, is exactly zero. So the switch is performing correctly. So we have done this many times, we've done the evaluation, and it has performed quite well. So we're going to continue to evaluate this technology. We will continue to update you on this technology as we learn more about it. Stay tuned in.